Rest in peace, Haven Games, bro. It's from nine fucking years ago. Rip. Player housing has been talked about and experimented with from the very start of WoW. Eventually, we received garrisons with Warlords of Draenor, but even back before Vanilla, Blizzard was working with the concept. This is a tour of the Alpha Player housing area. Enjoy. The Dark Lord tells you that the time for your vengeance is now. This is a well-known image of early WoW development featuring what appears to be a night elf learning to create a human building. Wait, do you see where this is at? This is at a place called Aldrasil. Aldrasil. Is that a real place in the game? Aldrasil. It's a village. <clears throat> Oh, it's in Teldrassil. It's a giant tree and village in the center of Shadow Glen, which is located in the northeastern corner of Teldrassil. So Aldrassil's inside of Teldrassil. What does that mean? Aldrassil. Oh, whatever. Night Elf starting area? Ah. Alprasil. Alprasil! <laughs> <laughs> they put a tree in their tree so they can have a tree house inside of their tree house. Player housing will not be available until after World of Warcraft has been released. Our plan is to add player housing in a future, future live update or expansion. Our current idea, which could change, is to extend the cities to have player housing neighborhoods. Very similar to FF14. For example, in the canal area of Stormwind, players can see a blue instance portal behind a large portcullis. This is the entrance to the player housing neighborhood in Stormwind. Uh, this is allegedly a quote from 2004. <clears throat> the above statement explains that this closed off portal was supposed to bring you to the housing area. This is the player housing test area found in the alpha game files. Just like base buildings, base like structure models. I'm sure it was probably like super limited in any type of customization. Like what could you, what could you really put in there? What could you change? Like this is all one model, these buildings, you know? Maybe different skins for the house or different house models or Something like that. Player and guild housing is something we've always been interested in pursuing. While we won't be including those features in the Burning Crusade, that doesn't mean we've abandoned our hope to include housing in the game sometime in the future. At the end of Vanilla WoW, the above message was given by Blizzard. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> Rip, dude. These ones are in the water for some reason and very large. Here we are 20 years later with garrisons being the closest thing we got to housing. I agree with Ian on, on housing, just wait till you have the time to do it correctly if you're gonna do it. The word is that we like the idea of player housing and would like to implement it at some point in the future, however we don't have a particular ETA of when we will. There's a laundry list of things we still would like to add to World of Warcraft and this is just one of them. This is from 2006. Some YouTubers speculated that warbands were implemented because of a other bigger change, likely housing. Yeah, it's unsubstantiated theor theorization though. Just a, just a wild shot in the dark. I don't think there's any evidence of that, but I can understand conceptually why they might begin to believe that. The reason why I'm so resistant to it is because I don't think it's a good idea to just randomly give ourselves false hope for something that there's not, at least from my perspective anyway, any real evidence for. But I would love to see some if there is. It's a small indie game for a small indie company.
Player housing would be cool if they could create instance neighborhoods for guilds and the guilds could build defenses or upgrades for their neighborhoods and then opt into a PvP mode where you could raid enemy neighborhoods or have or defend your own, put a Warcraft RTS flare in it. Sure, and I think having an option to defend it against, you know, NPC waves, that's honestly a lot what the garrison was, though. There was, like, uh, garrison invasions. That was the thing in WAD, where there were actually, like, different uh, enemy forces that would... But, you know, it, it wasn't really, like, a PvP thing. It was more like a, a PvE thing. So they, they kind of tried to do something similar to that with garrisons. Oh, just the hard looping music. Hell yeah, bro. We're definitely back in 2013. These were not promised at any particular time. I don't believe we even used the word promise in any statements about these. We've said in the past, however, that these are the things we would like to see added to the game. I can't give you an ETA since we don't have one as of yet. 2007. That's why you need to be a neighborhood, encourage team playing community. That'd be cool. Until your guild like dies and then what? What happens when they don't play anymore? Does your individual player housing experience get ruined as a result? Just move to a different town. You perish. <laughs> you just fucking die. <laughs> I don't know, Blizz ain't. I don't know, man. Blizz ain't paying me. Hey, valid. That's a valid ass fucking response. I say that a lot. I've said that a lot in the past. I don't know, bro. I don't get paid to come up with the fucking fixes. I just, I just know how to complain about them. <laughs> complain about the problem. I'm not paid to make the fix. <laughs> well, skimming through, it seems not everyone wants player housing at the moment. Not that we have use. Not that we use the forms as a barometer for popular opinion. But anyway, <laughs> player housing is still something that intrigues us. If the place and time are right, and we can add player housing and make it a meaningful addition to the game, make it cool, we'll do so. <laughs> Yo, what a sick fucking response, bro. Not that we use the forums as a barometer for popular opinion, but anyway. <laughs> That's such a jab, dude. I love that. It's so good. The self-awareness is so funny. I have private servers for my player housing, Phil. I built an entire custom city. You see, for me, I would rather just play like Age of Empires or something like that. I'd rather just play something where that, that's what the game is. <laughs> you know, where you build a city or whatever, you know, city skylines or some shit like that. I thought about getting Manor Lords, it looks really good. It's on my wish list. I'm afraid there's no update since the last time we spoke about it, four years prior. We know it's a free feature that some uh, players would be interested in, but consider the fact that players are sad to see the world outside the city is quieter since the introduction of things like the LFD tool and flying mounts, etc. I'm speculating here, but player housing may take yet more people out of the world and even cities. Yup. Yup. And, and what happened with garrisons? I'm just going to say it. They knew. This is correct. They fucking knew that this would happen. And that's what garrisons did. Took people out of the out of the city. Uh, out of the world. That's exactly what happened. Manor Lords is fun, definitely early access, but if you like city builders, it's great. I might mess with it. Same houses, yeah, they're all just, it's very early access, right? It's alpha. Do you think they would still have been out of the city had Wad had actual capitals like Karabor? If they carried the utility that garrisons had, then yes. Player-owned housing needs to be, uh, it's so hard because you have games like RuneScape where it is insanely powerful and infinite utility. 
the ability to instantly heal to full HP, get prayer potions and all that, just or full prayer just by and, and run energy just by visiting your house is very powerful. Having a teleport to basically anywhere in the game from your house is very powerful. A place to sw swap spell books and do things like that. The utility of the RuneScape house is so good that like end game accounts are you need it. Like you you need it. In Wad garrisons were like a lighter version of that where it was so profitable that that's where you wanted to spend most of your time. You didn't really need to go anywhere else. And let's be honest, Storm, um, what was it called? What were the two areas called in Ashran? It was a Storm, Storm Shield, and the other one. And why would you spend any time there? Like, they told us that Bladespire Citadel was going to be the the home city of the Horde. And that Karabor uh, was going to be the home city of the Alliance. And that just, yeah, Warspear. And that just didn't fucking happen. Like, that just didn't happen. And honestly, if they had put the beneficial systems of the garrison into those, like, home cities, then that's where people would have spent all their time. But I think the problem is that the garrisons had so much utility that just having Karabor and Bladespire as cities alone wouldn't have been enough. Like, you what they would need to do is like in order to do things in your garrison you need to go visit the city you need to go like do a couple quests or like exchange an occurrence an item for like a currency do do something you know like get the seeds that you need for your garrison by interactions in the city or like group quests or so like they just don't do a good job of like yeah go buy wood for building go go get some tool like yes and they just didn't do that very well like there's just no progression. There's no sense of needing to do the thing. There's like, do the thing to do the other thing to get the thing. It's like, no, just do the thing and stay there. And like, that's all you do. And so that's why garrisons were just such a fucking shit show because there was no other place that enticed you to go to them at all. And you had to do it. Like, you had to do it. There were missions that you couldn't progress in the main story with unless you got your garrison to a certain level, upgraded your buildings, did the missions, got your followers to a certain level, equipped them with prime gear. You had to do it. And it's another instance of Blizzard taking something that should be fun and optional and making it required because they were missing substance in the core content of their game. Tell me that Torghast is any fucking different. It was a system that was supposed to be fun, optional, and new and refreshing. And that didn't fucking happen because they made it required. And then no one could spend any time doing what they actually wanted or something interesting because they were bound to doing something in the garrison or in Torghast or something stupid, okay? So it just wasn't good. That's the problem. They should separate the casual content from others. Exactly. Torghast should have been a fun side mini game with mounts and titles and stuff that was inconsequential to your character's power. Dude, that way when you do Castle Nathria and you complete it, you get your legendary, craft it with the rune carver, that's cool. I'm going to go fucking do some Torghast because it's fun and it's broken and I like getting mounts and I like getting titles and it teaches me some maybe some extra little lore about the Maw or the Jailer and it just didn't hit those notes like it should have, dude. It just didn't hit those notes. It felt dreary and secluded and confined and very just like cold and just shitty. Just shitty. So it just shouldn't have been like that. It just shouldn't have been. It doesn't take a fucking genius to realize that that's a, not a good design. <laughs> but unfortunately, you do what you have to do when you're working at a company. You can't always do exactly what you want to do. You guys know as well as I am, if you've ever worked for a corporation, it is what it is. You know, you might be you might be disgruntled with one thing or another, but guess what? They're not going to change it because of you, <laughs> you know, and I feel like it probably feels the same at Blizzard. I'm sure there's people that were outraged and not happy and couldn't really make any fucking difference. And that's a shitty ass feeling. Couldn't express yourself with the garrison either at all. You invite or go to a friend's garrison and it looks identical to yours other than a few other buildings and placements. Yeah, yeah, totally true. There was no different skins. There was no forsaken orc. like they should have they should have really leaned into that Warcraft art style where like you had the different racial art styles for the Tauren buildings and the troll buildings and the uh, the orc buildings. They should have leaned heavily into that but they didn't do any of that warlords of draenor got warlords of draenor got fucked by what i would presume is just fl pretty much just flat out budget cuts budget cuts and time constraints are what ruined warlords of draenor for us which is a fucking shame because the orc warlords deserved way better than that so that's all i have to say about that
Orc, orc, love, orc lovers and people like that, they deserve way better than that. The Warlords deserve way better than what they got. And we should have got Farallon, and we should have got more Ogre stuff, and we should have got that Shatrath raid, man. It's fucking tough, man. It's fucking tough. The issues were Ian and his team did it wrong and all the WoW team management, I guess. They didn't have separate dedicated teams for casual content. Yeah, they were just... I don't really know how the inner workings worked. You'd have to go back to interviews and stuff, so... I'm fully cooking on this guild village idea. I'm making myself excited for a system we'll never actually have. Jay, um, could I recommend something to you? Look into RuneScape Guild Citadels. Or Clan Citadels is what they were called. Um, and that might give you an insight into kind of what you're describing to a degree. That uh, was something introduced late into RuneScape 2 before it transitioned through the evolution of combat into RuneScape 3. And it was a system where you had a clan level, a citadel with upgrades and different bonuses that you could get from being there. It was a kind of a social hub to hang out at. Um, and you could do events and, and things together from there, I'm pretty sure. There was like certain little things you could do. And I thought that was really cool. I think RuneScape has handled uh, POH very well for the most part, besides the fact that it's just you utility-wise just a little broken, but it has to stay relevant somehow. And uh, I just remember uh, guilds, clan citadels were interesting. It was late, late RS2, and I can't say that I had like great experiences with it, but I just think that you might find that interesting. I remember those citadels, but I also remember needing to clock in for a weekly gathering cap. I do not, and that's just my memory getting in the way. So I have a little bit of probably like rose-tinted memories of it because it was more just like a grand place that I was able to go to because I was in a clan that was basically just like full of maxed people. <laughs> so. so what do we have here? We've got a feature summary, uh, and we're going to talk about all this stuff. So I'll just get right into it. Garrisons. What the hell are those? All right, so what is a garrison? Garrison is the ability for you to build your own base on Draenor. So, that's right. This is, uh, this is the World of Warcraft version of housing. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> this isn't a cottage in a faraway instance corner that doesn't actually exist in the world. Hmm. Uh, this is your ability to actually build a base, almost as you do in the RTS games, in the actual world that you will be able to see as you fly through the zones. You'll be able to see it as you go by it. Um, you know, you'll be able to invite your friends to come and see it if they want to. We'll even give you reasons to trade resources, stuff like that. But this is a full-on base. At the beginning, the intentions seemed to have been a simple personal space. Now, it will be heavily integrated in the gameplay and progression. Epson chat for garrisons and player housing. 